battlecruiser Kumari. The Kumari was an Andorian battlecruiser that was in service with the Andorian Imperial Guard during the mid-22nd century. It was named after the first ice cutter to circumnavigate Andoria and was the first starship of her class. The Kamari was put under the command of Commander Shran in 2142. The Kamari was capable of speeds in excess of Warp 5 and was armed with advanced weaponry and a tractor beam. In 2154, the ship had a crew complement of 86. In December 2153, the Kamari entered the Delphonic Expanse in search of the Earth Starship Enterprise. After spending several weeks following the Enterprise's warp trail, the Kamari rendered assistance in capturing a Zindi prototype weapon. It was only discovered that the Andorians intended to take the weapon for themselves, though the Enterprise captain, Jonathan Archer, prevented Tran from doing so by detonating the prototype. The Kamari escaped destruction but suffered heavy damage. On February 14, 2154, the Kamari was able to detect a Zindi weapon on its way to Earth through a subspace vortex and followed it. Arriving shortly after the weapon and Durga's shuttle, on Shran's orders, the Kamari provided cover for Durga's shuttle against Commander Dullum's Zindi reptilian warship, enabling Archer and an away team to board the weapon and destroy it, saving the Earth. While Archer was on the weapon, the Kamari continued to engage Dullum's ship and ultimately destroyed it by firing on its unshielded starboard engine. Later that year, the Kamari was assigned to lead a covert task force of five warships inside a nebula monitoring local space. Attempting to warn Shran of the Vulcan's intent to invade Andoria, Enterprise located the Kamari with the help of the Vulcan ambassador Soval. Though Shran was initially reluctant to trust Soval and the Enterprise crew, he eventually agreed to pass their information on to the Imperial Guard. While the Imperial Guard ultimately agreed to redeploy its forces to counter the invasion, the Kamari was but only one ship in a small and hasty developed fleet, deployed fleet consisting of the Enterprise and five other Andorian vessels. The fleet, however, succeeded in holding off a dozen Vulcan Crusaders at the Battle of Andoria, long enough for Archer back on Vulcan to provide information leading to the removal of Ambassador Velas, leader of the Vulcan High Command and main proponent of the invasion. The Kamari drew fire away from the Enterprise on at least one occasion during the battle. While escorting the Andorian ambassador to a trade conference on Babel in November 2154, the Kamari was destroyed by a Romulan drone ship, posing as a Tellarite vessel. Only 19 of the 86 crew members, including Shran and Lieutenant Talas, managed to get away in escape pods. They were later rescued by the Enterprise, where Shran and Archer held a toast to the ship, commenting on the futures of both of their ships. The Kamari class battlecruiser was 360 meters long and had a standard crew complement of 86. The ship was heavily armored, featuring particle cannons, but it did lack photon torpedoes. The hull was made of duranium alloy. The deflector shields were strong for ships of the era, but the hull was weaker and particularly vulnerable when the shields were down because it lacked hull plating that could be polarized. Because the Empire was on the brink of war with the Tellarites and the Vulcans, the battlecruisers were designed for war as part of a strategy of defense. The Kamari class was technologically advanced and a match for a Vulcan Dekaier class warship. Five particle cannon emitters were positioned on the fore, port, starboard, ventricle, and dorsal hulls. Each of the emitters had a 180 degree firing arc. The cannons could be fired as continuous beams and projectile-like bursts. Andorian energy weapons were blue. The propulsion system was a matter-antimatter reaction warp core. It allowed the ship to exceed warp 5. And special thanks goes out to ST Voyager fan for the suggestion to make the Kamari video. Check out her channel for some Star Trek videos and how-to things.